Shalom, 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 Israel, brother Amos with the Watchman for Israel. First and foremost, as we always do, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to the brothers pushing this truth with strong sincerity, laboring on the highways and byways, making their body a living sacrifice, doing all they can for the hopeful elect and for the nation of Israel. <clears throat> I want to give y'all a strong shalom to the sisters holding it down in the households. Representing her husband, being a teacher of good things to the younger women and to the children. I want to give you all a strong shalom. And to the men and women forsaking this world <clears throat> and coming back to serve our God, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. I want to compel you all to be as a church of Berea to search the scriptures daily and diligently to see if the words that be spoken to you are true or not. Right? Let the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah be true and every man a liar. If it's not thus saved the Lord, cast it behind you and search and seek unto men who say who say and speak thus saith the lord right because a lot of false prophets out here uh set up to deceive the masses and israel right so this is a quick snack not gonna make it too long um out here uh walking with my dog so uh, you know it came upon my spirit to make a cold cut about this um this is Sirach chapter 3, verse 23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for things are shown unto thee, things are shown unto thee that men understand. Right? So, as men and women in this truth, right, our minds should be fixated on seeking the kingdom first and working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Right? A lot of people get involved in a lot of folly and madness and things that corrupt the mind, right? And give your strength over the things that shouldn't have your strength, right? The Lord tells you to work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling, right? Let me pull that out. Right, Philippians 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right? So we have to work out our own salvation. We have to abstain from things that don't pertain unto us. We have to abstain from getting involved in every matter we hear about. Prime example, clubhouse. Right? Now, nothing's wrong with Clubhouse getting edified, hearing the godly discourse, hear people, you know, bringing forth their strong reasoning on why they believe such points and arguments, right? It's extremely edifying for the nation, but also you don't want to get involved and caught up in mass hysteria, what's going on in this man's house or what's going on in this sister's life, right? These things bring no benefit or they cause you to be... uh not blameless right or guiltless you're going to be guilty right going from house to house finding out what's going on with everybody worried about the next man's problems or the next man's thoughts and feelings towards something right we got to do better than that right let's go to side right right side right chapter 11 and we got to make sure that in all things we're bringing forth edification and showing ourselves a pattern of good works, right? We can't tell men and women to not be a busybody and a gossiper and a tellbearer, but we're giving heed unto unto doctrines or not doctrines. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We're giving heed to information about men and women's lives that we have no business listening to, right? This is Sirach, chapter eleven. I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 9. Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in a judgment with sinners. Right? So you can't strive with something that has nothing to do with you. Right? Don't be sitting there, oh, I need to hear what's going on in this person's life. I need to know. This is so important. I need to make sure that I, uh, I know all these things. Right? It's not important. Not important to you, shall I say. My son, meddle not with many matters, 
for if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. If thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. So you meddling in many matters, trying to figure out everything that's going on in people's lives, trying to be a busybody and a tell bear, right? You're not going to be innocent. You're going to be held to the blood. You're going to be held to the things that are said in those instances because you ran your mouth and said things you had no business to say, right? So with that being a quick cut, I want y'all to realize and understand, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Keep your mind focused on the kingdom and not on people's houses. If you do hear something, carry it with you unless it needs to be addressed or if somebody's in danger, right? Let's work on reforming our minds and not being like gossip women on these shows, damn Wendy Williams and the truth. Right? With that, shall the walk.